In this video, I met with INFP musician Jonathan, and Jonathan told me about his experiences as an introvert going up on stage performing. Watch this video if you want to learn how to spot and recognize the INFP personality type in real life, learn the questions I asked to figure out that he was an INFP, and also how I was able to tell that he wasn't an ISFP personality type. Do you get more energy from being with people or from being by yourself? I think uh, from being by myself. Cool. Yeah. That would make you an introvert. Would you say that you're more of a values person or more of an accomplishment and success person? Is it more important for you to achieve something or learn a new skill or become better at something or more about like uh, just enjoying a moment and what you I do? I think, yeah, I, I, I'm all about, about uh, just enjoying the moment, live the present. Uh, yeah, just, just try uh, to, to just enjoy every day. Now, some of you might have listened and spotted that he said he likes to live in the present. And isn't that a sign, the hallmark sign of an ISFP personality type? Well, watch the video to find out why I decided that he was ultimately an ISFP. I can top with notes that you have a guitar. Did you also play in the park today or? Uh, no, 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 no. I, I just uh, actually was in the music studio uh, practice. Huh. Uh, but uh, sometimes I play in bar or a club. Uh, I do cover songs. Uh, normally, uh, but um, also I I make it my... Wow, okay, so when you play music, do you get into a flow state? Like, what happens when you play music? Do you really, how much do you enjoy it? Like, Wow, uh, actually a lot. For me, music, it's my way of life. Uh, it's the one thing I, I'm most uh, passionate about it. Hmm. So yeah, when I, I'm actually, uh, I'm alone or with some of my friends uh, playing the guitar and making music. Yeah, for me, it's actually, it's like I, I, I feel like I'm in another, another world, mm. per, per se. Yeah, I, I feel like I can uh, let uh, some things away for a moment. And, and also when I'm on, a, on a stage playing, I, I, I normally just focus on my music. Also notice his experiences with going up and performing on stage. Jonathan likes to detach from his surroundings and from his environment, to tune into his own inner world, a world of his own imagination, and where an ISFP would have preferred to tune into and be connected to the audience that they're performing for. So from everything you've said so far, um, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I would guess that you're more of an introvert. And I would guess that you are more of an intuitive person. That's a creative type. They're usually imaginative. They, yeah. they also, and this is a follow up, they enjoy like philosophical discussions about yes. the meaning of life, why we're here, uh, psychology, like what, what makes like we're, yeah, <laughs> where does yeah, everything yeah. come from? Yeah, <laughs> I, I would say, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a lot of, uh, a lot of, I think I have that kind of personality. The first thing you'll notice is how he lights up and how passionate he gets when I tell him about philosophy. He connects to and feels a strong rush of energy and curiosity when he's able to talk about abstract and theoretical concepts. And that's something an ISFP would not experience. And I'd also guess then that you're more, you'd already kind of said it, but a feeling oriented person, like more values, feelings, identity, uh, understanding people and emotions. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I always try to put my myself first in life, but actually it's difficult for me because sometimes I, I care a lot about uh, some people that it's important to me, like maybe my best friend or uh, my sisters. Mm. Uh, since also I think we built this kind of important because also my parents got divorced so we actually we don't have a great great relationship with my with, with our parents so the three of us it's like I don't know we, we really build this kind of a special relationship between us yeah so yeah I, I don't know I always say yeah I, I try to put myself first in life but sometimes it can be difficult for me because yeah. I also care a lot about the uh, a lot of people that, yeah. That's the INFP conundrum in a sense, uh, because uh, most of the time they, they are more comfortable in their own feelings and in their own uh, focusing on themselves and yeah. uh, their own expression, but they still care about yeah. other people. Yeah. Uh, but other, going to other, meet other people, interact and communicate, talk with others, like uh, that takes you out of your comfort zone. Yes. yes so yes, yes. it can bring you a bit of stress and anxiety to do exactly. it, but yeah. you know 
it's really important to do because how else do you grow? Yeah, exactly. Yes. You say like when you're on stage, you focus on the musical expression, you get lost in that, so you don't really think about the people who listen then, in no. a sense. I feel, I feel this, this way and, and try just to forget about everything, just play. Uh, you're an introvert, but you go up on stages and you perform from other people. Like, what made you do that? Like, why did you not just choose to play for yourself and uh, to just focus on your own expression? And yeah, because I think it's it's a thing that uh, kind of helped me also for myself. Uh, because yeah, when when I was uh, really young, I was yeah really really on on to myself i i really haven't too much friends just my like two three best friends but then when i start uh, growing up uh, i realized myself i put like it, it was a challenge to me so i kind of uh, uh i kind of challenge myself to do that yeah so I, through past the years, I, I learned uh, actually how, how to, yeah, how, how to just uh, be myself and focus on, on my music uh, when I'm playing uh, on stage. Uh, and uh, yeah, and actually it just helped me more also to uh, when I'm making my own music, also to when I'm writing uh, and uh, when I'm practicing uh, with, with the guitar, it uh, I, I don't know also help me a lot uh, when I share with the people yeah. uh, the music I play. Yeah, and I I see that they're they are enjoying yeah. the music. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's uh, right now. That's kind of. Uh, I mean, uh, it's important, but also, yeah, uh, I just want to enjoy it myself and also see the people that, yeah. really, that also enjoy the music. So, yeah. Like the reason why I ask is because I asked you earlier also about flow and uh, one of the interesting things that I noticed is that we have certain things that we value like doing like and it sounds like for you it is that like introverted process of coming up with your own music but we also need some degree of stress like we need some degree of stress and that's like being on stage going outside your comfort zone like connecting with other people yeah. like that uh, provides you with some chance to show value and show yeah. who you are to the world in a sense yeah, and that's yeah, yeah. super important for growth and for just generally like that feeling of well-being because without that connection like uh, it's great that you're able to do what you love but yeah, exactly but yeah without it sometimes uh, it's uh, you can you cannot grow actually yourself I, 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 I think that's so, yeah yeah I think it's very very important it's very very important to to challenge yourself in, in the life it yes. is it is so yes, yes. thank you so much for answering these questions no uh, i really appreciate it no 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 um, problem um, 